Hello, we're here with Matt McGinn from MIT Admissions to talk a little bit about MIT. Thanks for joining us today, Matt. I'm thrilled to be here. I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about why would a student choose MIT over another competitive institution in the United States? MIT is a place that is very mission-driven and mission-oriented. We uh, have a strong basis in math and science, in the analytical disciplines, and we believe in using those disciplines to make a real impact in the world. The idea of MIT is to use science and technology to create a better planet, to come up with those inventions and discoveries that will make the world a better place. So if you're a student that's very interested in using science and technology to do just that, to solve some of the problems of the world, and I think MIT is a very exciting place to do that. At the same time, there's a very rich life extracurricularly in the living groups, uh, within the humanities and the arts. I think that oftentimes, because our name is the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, that people forget about our fantastic programs in the arts, music, theater, visual arts, writing and, uh, and uh, literature. All of these things are very present at MIT to support the, the, the otherwise strong research and discovery program. So it's a pretty exciting place to be. It's a vibrant campus where people are very excited about making a difference. Is there a typical profile of an international student that you see at MIT's campus? I don't know if there's one typical profile. There's not one thing that we're looking for, but I think there are some things that all of our students have in common. Uh, all of our students certainly are strong in the analytical disciplines, math and science, having strong uh, performance in those subjects in high school is very important for us. I would also say that MIT students are very driven and motivated, that they're students that don't wait for opportunities to come to them, but rather seek out opportunities uh, to really take advantage of all of the opportunities that are in front of them in their environment. That's very important to us. I, I think the typical MIT student also takes uh, their studies very seriously, but maybe doesn't take life so seriously. I think there's very much a sense of humor on campus that we know that while our work is very important, that there's uh, time to let loose, have a little bit of fun, enjoy ourselves, whether that's one of the famous pranks of MIT, which we call hacks, reconstructing a police car on top of our dome, or any other crazy thing like that, to you know, uh, being involved in sporting events, musical concerts, things like that. So there's a nice balance there, and I think just being someone who isn't just solely academically focused, but wants to take advantage of all of the resources that a place like MIT has to offer, I think that's also very typical of an MIT student. And then, of course, the inevitable question about how to pay for college. So could you talk to a little bit about how you would um, take care of financial aid, etc.? Absolutely. Uh, at MIT, we're in a very fortunate position that because we have a very large endowment, thanks to the generosity of our alumni, uh, we can afford to meet the full need of every student who applies. And in our admissions process, we need not consider how much scholarship we would have to give a student for them to be able to afford it. I know that the sticker price of universities like MIT is very high, but what we will do is we will choose the best students from across the world, no matter if they're rich or poor. We want to find those students who will make the most of MIT's resources. And then once we identify them, we hand them off to a separate office, a financial aid office. And what their role is, is to determine what is it reasonable for this family to be able to contribute towards a university education at MIT. And for many of our international students, that number is very small. Uh, we know that many of our international students don't have large amounts of financial resources to be able to pay for MIT. So what we will do is we will meet that need largely with scholarship, and the average scholarship for our international students is very, very significant. We do not want finances to be the reason why a student has to say no to MIT. We want to take that out of the equation and let the student that we admit make the right decision to attend the university that will best uh, propel them towards the future. Wonderful. And then finally, do you have any general tips that you might be able to provide for any international students that were thinking about attending MIT? I would say that I, I wouldn't be afraid to talk about things that are outside your prescribed course of study. I think that many international students think that all we care about is their marks and their test scores, 
but in fact those things that you do in your unstructured time, uh, those things that are important to you, we want to hear about those things in essays or in your interview. Uh, if you build things or if you play an instrument or if you enjoy sports or reading or any kind of hobby like that, I think you should definitely talk about that and let those things that you're excited about come through in the application. Uh, we very much want to hear about a student's entire life and not just their academic life. So give us a sense of who you are. I think that will help us to best identify those students who will be very successful at MIT. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Matt, and thank you for taking the time to talk to us here at Education USA.